Welcome to the eighth oldest stadium in the country, Vaught Hemingway in Oxford, Mississippi, home of the Ole Miss Rebels, where the fans never lose a tailgate and don't plan on losing the game today. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the LSU Tigers, taking on the fifth-ranked team in the land, the Ole Miss Rebels. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Rebels will kick it off to get us underway. Fielded in the end zone, it's Thomas. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. So LSU's offense will have the first possession of the game. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Father. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. Man, this guy is so scary when he has the ball in his hands. He kind of reminds me, he's got a little bit of Leonard Fournette. He's got a little bit of Clyde edwards Lair, you know, just that shake and bake. And when they get in the second level, DBs just don't seem to know how to tackle this guy. You don't want a submarine, he might hurl over you, but, it, but if you don't go in with conviction, and he's got the speed to get outside and take it the distance. This dude just makes your heart stop every time he has the ball. Listen, I know that's not a huge game. Those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Sweet feet on the move. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. So as a defensive guy, they line up in a formation. You know they're heavy on one side. And then all of a sudden, boom, two guys pull, and they go the other direction. So you can't really load up and play that counter keeps you off balance as a defense and makes you really be honest. Direct snap. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. So the Ole Miss Rebels offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. The back goes in motion. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played, and no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think the sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way up. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now you're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. So, Jesse, they're able to connect on the crossing route against the zone. You run that pattern against that coverage. What do you have to keep in mind? Well, the receiver needs to know where the soft spot is in the defense so he can gear himself down. And the quarterback, Reese, has to play with great timing. Because if he's too early or too late on the throw, that might get picked. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Trying to impose their will on the ground as he stopped after a five-yard pickup to the 33. All right, great little run there. Listen, it wasn't phenomenal. We didn't get a first down, but what does it do? Now it makes second down easier. The play caller looking at his sheet going, all right, I can throw it, I can run it. Deep shot for the end zone. 
And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. They'll leave it with him. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. You know, this is a running back who wants the ball, and he wants the offense to run through him. Really nice job there on the third down of this opening drive for his offense. I can't wait to see what kind of game this guy's going to have. The Rebels will have it first and ten. To the ground with the bat. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. And the Rebels have pushed it inside the 20. Looking to throw, it's dark. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. And they decide to trot out the kicker. It is perfect. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with it. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll bring it out. It's Thomas. Smashes through. They drag him down at the 22. He gambled for the big return out of the end zone and came up a little short. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. We've come to the end of the period, and Ole Miss is on top. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. With the catch, it's Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Good job running top and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. Quickly out to the tight end. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. And LSU starting to get that passing attack cranked up. And this is a unit that typically LSU is as good as they are at quarterback. We know they're going to be physical. We know they got athletes all over the field. But when they get really good quarterback play, those teams are really special. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. He tries to take the top off. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Trying play action. Grabbed in the middle, it's Taylor. 
They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting first possession. Finally pulled down, but not before, moving the change for a first down. LSU looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, LSU! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They march 78 yards down the field, and the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. They're lining up to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. At the 35, he's got room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. That big play flipped the field. Now they go to work from just outside the red zone. Back to throw. It's dark. Touchdown, Ole Miss! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, eat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got... Snags it at the 30 and still running. Flying down the right side. And he slipped through the crowd and he'll house it. Touchdown, Tigers! And, man, is that perfect timing. You can tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy, and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bread basket. Nice play. Nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. That kind of drive will boost your confidence. One play, hit the big pass, put a touchdown on the board. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. 
They've cut him up with touchdowns on the last two possessions, and now they have it back. Man, this offense has really, really found a rhythm. They've got the whole playbook at their disposal, really firing all cylinders. If I'm this defense, Jesse, I got to take something away. I got to make them one dimensional and try to get a stop. Yeah, you got to make a decision. We're loading the box and not letting you run the football, or we're going to blitz you and try to change the timing of your quarterback. But whatever you've been trying the last two drives, racing down the left side, the 10. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. This offense is really dangerous because of the weapons they have on the perimeter of the field. And you're seeing they go to these guys early and they try to give them opportunities in one-on-one -on -one situations and vertically down the field. Two passing touchdowns now early for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. You want to see quick strike ability? It was epitomized there. Two plays, 80 yards, touchdown on the board. He'll bring it out. It's Thomas. Smashes through the tackle. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he had just taken the touchback. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and i got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a player? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like i got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, i got to hit them too. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. We're only in the first half already. This guy's got two TD passes. So you could see the defensive coaching staff on the sideline telling this D-line, guys, we got to get after this guy. We have to affect his rhythm and not let him be so comfortable back there. Right there, they were able to get after him. Let's see if they can keep it up. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. give to the running back and he's not going to make it the defense denying him the first down makes a move they'll knock him down and that'll take us to halftime first half in the books time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin. LSU will put foot to leather to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. 
Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. He'll just throw it away, and it'll be fourth down. Well, I know this offense came out here in the second half hoping to build on their one possession lead, but after that incompletion, I think the smart thing is to just kick it away here and let your defense play and try to get it back to you without giving up any points. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Man. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit. On this Off play action. Looking down the middle. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdown passes. They're just not quite able to make the plays they need to against the pass in this game. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. LSU quick to the line. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The give is to Williams. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. He's looking to throw. He's got it. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Back to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Unleashes to the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money, he's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they take a 21-17 lead. They took it 64 yards right down the field. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. After picking up a couple at second and eight, they'll run play action. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the end route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the DB right with him to knock it away. When I'm an offensive coach, I'm going to take shots. I'm going to take those 50-50 balls, and most of the time I'm going to trust my wide receiver to come down with it. The defensive back said, no, sir. Got him downfield. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. 
this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. They're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense. Unleashes one deep. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss! This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. Yeah, it just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you apart. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. And David Howell, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Fires to the right. Makes a connection. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. He's showing you his skills on that last throw. This guy's got arm talent and accuracy, man, and some of it, it it's not coachable. And I think back to Jamarcus Russell and Joe Burrow, two former Tiger quarterbacks that were the first overall pick in the NFL draft. They had some of that, too. They just had a feel for the position that you simply couldn't coach at the college level. This guy, man, he's got some serious tools, and he really helps make this offense dangerous. And now on second down for this offense. Got his man quickly. The Tigers will have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. Looking for a man. It's Nussmeyer. Got his man on the right. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. We've come to the end of the period, and Ole Miss is on top. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. A third down play to open up this quarter. From the gun, wants to pass. A shot toward the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! They've got the lead here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. 
didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks. and. He's got it on the right. He's off to the races. Pass the 10. Touchdown, Rebels. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinator. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone. It's Thomas. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. They'll get this drive going from the 17. Trying to start the drive with a pass. He's got the tight end. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him to have. The give on the counter. On the ball, on the ball. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, and they corral the ball so they avoid the turnover. But, man, did they lose a chunk of yardage. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at them. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football. And we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Let's use those timeouts, save as much clock as we can so our offense has some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Trying to burn this defensive back. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Well, things have gone pretty well so far, right? You've got the lead. You're playing at home. It's late. And you just need a few more of these completions to ice the game. That time, couldn't come away with it. It's a nice play by the defender knocking it down. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Fires to the wide out. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. All right, a 
it's a good result for the defense. We knew coming into this year they wanted to really improve their pass defense and their secondary and coverage. Nice job there. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Gets it out fast. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going up top here late in the game. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked in what this defense is trying to do. Defense will always try to get some tips, you know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking the football and forcing the incompletion. They keep attacking through the air. This time he's got it. And he gets the first down, but man, did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught over the middle, it's Taylor. And he's brought down after a nice game. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. LSU with the first and 10 here. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. He caught it! And he'll run out of bounds just short of the goal line. Wanted to get it in, but couldn't quite get home. And if they want to take the lead, can't be thinking field goal here. They'll need a touchdown to go up in the fourth. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. Nice right there by the tight end, making it real easy for his quarterback to find an easy completion. A touchdown here on third and goal really ratchets up the game pressure. He wants it all. Touchdown, LSU! They move on top here in the fourth. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. We got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. They'll need to be very sound here, limit this return, and put this game in the hands of their defense to salt it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. This is everything you could hope for in a rivalry game like this. Close game, waning moments, history waiting to be made, guys. And it's moments like this why you come and play for these two schools, right? To play in a game like this, in a rivalry like this, in a situation, David, game on the line late, who's going to take it? And you know when you make this play, you're... And he breaks into the open. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after the big one for this offense. Quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. That last big play has them in position to threaten here, first and 10 from the 37. To the air, it's dark. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the right. And it is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. 
You know, you're seeing in college football now a spread offense and tempo and air raid. You're seeing more and more 400-yard days, but I can't remember the last time I've seen one look as impressive as this guy has played today, David. He has been on fire. And it's so annoying now because all the quick quick game is so good. And then you take shots when you get matchups. And you see tight ends now that, that move like wide receivers and running backs that move like receivers. There's so many ways that quarterbacks can hurt you now. And he showed all of it today. And the pass is incomplete, but the flag flies. And there was a lot of early contact there. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught it. And the defense is just about out of room to defend. They are backed up right on the doorstep. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called by the offense. We have 18 seconds left. So on offense, you've got to find a way to put six up on the board. You know that in this game, field goals may not get it done. So big-time players make big plays in big games. Who can you rely on right now to get you? Touchdown, Oh Miss! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And how about this QB coming up clutch in a big moment? Got to have it. You dreamed about it your whole life. He puts the ball on the money. They make the catch, take the lead with seconds remaining on the clock. Makes this one the lead will be three, and at least a field goal won't beat you. And it's good, and he's got the lead up to three late. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the clutch late score that almost certainly will be the game winner. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Thomas. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Now in the waning seconds, Jesse, you put yourself in position to pull this one out. And there's a chance this may come down to the kicker, guys. So which hash mark does he like to kick from the best? you got to play call this to give your guy the best chance to make his kick. And how much confidence do I have in it? You know, what's his range? All those things come into account of how aggressive you want to be. Maybe go. It's complete. A huge pickup. Hit the afterburners, kid. Touchdown by you, Bengals. And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. Man, what a great job by this offense executing down the field, using all of the clock, being smart, getting the big score late, and I think that one should do it. They say every game counts the same in the standings, and that is true, but there are some games that no matter what the coaches say, they just mean a little more, and they hurt a little more if you lose. They do, and that's a fact, and every player will tell you that. There are some games that are highlighted before the season that this game matters more, and it's not that the other ones don't matter. It's just that the hate runs so deep for some of these rivalries and some of these kids that grew up across the street from each other that went to different schools, Jesse. You can feel it. David, you're absolutely right. And I wonder, because it was a rivalry game, did the losing team get a little overhyped? It just looked like they were pressing too much in this football game. They too, made too many uncharacteristic mistakes. And as a result, they take the L. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.